Crime by Leonardo Kamanaka. Chinhua, portrayed by Leonardo Kamanaka. Kathy, portrayed by Dominique Xu. Leo, portrayed by Miguel Sutasia. Athena, portrayed by Beth Griffith. Detective Harvey, portrayed by J.R. Carter. Corky Lee, portrayed by Timmy Ah. And Ted, portrayed by Conrad Aderer. Setting, Chinatown, New York apartment, Bellevue Hospital in Brooklyn, Sheepshead Bay and Bensonhurst Senior Center. A street corner, a subway car, Times Square. Time, 2020 to 2022 pandemic. Act two, scene one. A senior center in Sheepshead Bay, Brooklyn. Kathy wearing arm pads is going through self-defense moves with grandma. <coughs> grandma executes moves, backs up, bows, and smiles. That's great. Can I take a couple of photographs? Corky takes photos. They both take off armbands and gloves and sit down. I'll get these to report us at newspapers around New York. People have to know what's going on. See ya. Bye. Why? Why did she go home instead of going to the precinct? I put out fire. If we go to precinct, we wait all night. Then they do nothing. Hello, Captain. This is Ted of the Senior Center. It's about the attack on the 89-year-old grandma. They set her hair on fire. What can he do about it? What? Okay. Could I have, at least have the number? He said he can't do anything. I want to go and strangle that captain. I okay. Come on. She has to meet her, her daughter. Now it can happen to someone else. We can't let our people die like lambs. He said, call the hate crime unit for a detective. Did he give you a phone number to call? Here. Hello? Is this the New York City Police Department Hate Crimes Unit for Brooklyn? Benson Heard, Sheets Head Bay? Wait. She's connecting me. Hate Crimes Unit, please? Hello, officer. You know the 89-year-old grandma attacked and they set her hair on fire? Neighbors have a surveillance video that shows kids at the garbage cans. <clears throat> she leaves her house. They, they slap her and throw a, a burnt cigar at her. She feels something hot on her back. What are you going to do about it? Okay. It's 917-234-0500. We'll wait for your call. They said stay calm. Why doesn't anybody pay attention? They put up a leaflet for lost cats. I put my money where my mouth is. It was a really, really hard thing to tell my wife about that. 10K for info leading to an address. Ted starts putting up leaflets around points on stage. Your official title is volunteer, though you've been here 25 years. But you didn't consult the board of directors, and I'm supposed to be the executive director. Why didn't you ask me? That woman doesn't want to go to the police, and I can't force her to. If that grandma had burned up alive, they'd still tell us we can't prove it's a hate crime. Police say if assailants don't use an ethnic slur, they can't call it a hate crime. She doesn't know an ethnic slur. She can't speak English. When people were going hungry around here, we set up the food delivery program. Another emergency. We have to take care of our own. I was out every night delivering food. I was never so exhausted in my life. I know you hired me, but I'm not here to just be a figurehead. You have political ambitions and you just want a yes man. Why are you giving me a hard time? The city just cut our budget by 200 grand. There's a lot of people who think Asians have white privilege and don't deserve anything. I'll fight for our seniors if I'm the last man standing. Outsiders are giving us a hard time, and now you. You're not listening. I'll quit if I can't talk around here. You're going to walk out now? Before our 25th anniversary celebration? OK, I'll stay and help with that. It will give you enough time to find someone else. Kathy exits. The phone rings. Oh, Captain, you found the boys? They're 13 years old? They were remanded to family court. No ethnic slur was used. Family court. They go and get a slap on the wrist. Thanks for catching them, Captain. But what if it was your grandma? 
Scene 2. Leo's house. Kathy sits on the sofa. Leo stands. So I quit. Sounds like a toxic environment. He wants you to take off in a fighter plane with him. Alone. Meanwhile, the immigrants at the senior center are afraid to do anything. You're in a catch-22. It's right before the 25th anniversary party. He got me to stay until then. Will you help me? As much as I can. I love a good show as much as anyone. Come with me to talk to Detective Harvey. He's in the hate crime unit task force. Crossfade to Detective Harvey's office. Kathy and Leo sit at his desk. I am so glad Dr. Leo brought you here to see me. I had to find out what the city's doing about these crimes. Look, if Grandma can't speak English, we have officers of Asian descent who volunteer to translate so everybody gets understood and heard. If the case goes to court, we'll get a translator for her in court. They think they have no rights at all. Another thing, it's very important. If they're immigrants, <clears throat> officers are not allowed to ask them or disclose that. They're so afraid they won't believe me. They feel less than human. They know our race is discriminated here. Look, take this leaflet on hate crimes law. Talks about translators and immigration status and not being questioned. I told her you'd straighten it out. Thank you, Detective. You're welcome. I just wish I could tell all immigrants of this. End of scene two. Scene three. The Senior Center's 25th Anniversary Celebration. Once upon a time, long, long ago, in a village, there lived a mad scientist. He brewed a poison. He spread wide and far. Whoever drank it, thought they were gone. Taller, stronger than all mere mortals. So this became the fashion of the day. For everyone wanted their own way. Newcomers to the village felt so lost. Strange boys slapped them up against the gate. Because you're weak and old, you'll pay the cost. Don't say a word and just accept your fate. Laughing an old cigar they tossed. She caught it, though, before it was too late. The old lady went home, where she lived with her daughter. Do not go beyond the gate again. We're strangers here, and you should never roam. Watch life from your window. For who knows when the monster Iceman will deport you or jail, and then our happy haven here will fail. The fear surrounds her, hang like a veil. And so alone she sits beyond the pale. Her life is circumscribed within. Now thousands like her are locked in. Background switches to Iron Horse. Part two, the Iron Horse. One day upon an Iron Horse, a man was riding while another leered and said, Eat this rotten food. I know you can, you tink. He threw it with a sneer. The other man rose and all the foul dreck that he had ever learned came pouring out. But he paused. His whole life flashed before his inner eye. He wanted just revenge but thought, how can I? If I should die upon this spot and leave, just tears of hatred wet upon my sleeve, generation after generation will be blinded by retaliation. Hate on hate leaves you a wreck. This violence is not what I'm about. He asked the crowd to help, and only one said, Hey, I have a magic machine. He turned it on, and suddenly the world, through magic eyes, had seen the crime unfurled. The bully fled, and he knew his ship had sailed. They followed him to make sure he was nailed. Crossfade to their stage. And here is part three, a no play about the can man. I am a woman warrior. My mouth is my sword. I help the healers and menders. This began with Pointre, the nurse who tried to give out COVID masks Blind to 900,000 deaths, the family confused invading germs with invading their space and rights. Look, there she is. They have beat her. Black and blue, bandaged eyes. Athena, thank goodness you're here. Look at you. There were too many of them on my way home on the E-train. 
Mind your business, chink. Go back to your dirty country. I was trying to make them safe. I stand here not for myself, but for others who were assaulted. Anti-Asian hate parallels COVID, a virus dividing people of color. Stop! Stop! Why should two humans attack humans just for the frigging hell of it? Every day, this nurse gives her all for you. What sense does that make, I ask you? Her phone rings. Hello. Not another assault. Now, it's the can man. Where? In Harlem. Have you heard? Have you heard the news? Another attack. We must tell the people. We'll start from the north and go south. Cross fade two, stage left, a can man stops with a heavy bag of cans on a pole. I, Yao Pan Ma, came here with hope. I heard New York needs dim sum chefs. At first, my wife and I ate well. It was happiness, a new life. <coughs> I was cooking up a storm, and COVID threw me out of work. Now, I carry cans day and night. Bitterness fills my mind. We moved in with relatives. We're strangers who got lost here. My former self is a ghost, but I still work for my money. I am faceless, cannot be tracked. Perhaps for that, the man attacked. Thank you for sharing this with me. We came to pray for the can man. Here, Surrounded by Washington Heights, Quisqueya, the palace, Abuelas, Viejito, can you help me? There's so many cans on my back. How can someone with nothing help? Can you hear the people coming, marching with strong beat? I worked in the unions for 40 years, where the white, black, brown, Asian stuck together all for one, wall to wall. My abuela said, in the old days, workers sent food and money, walked each other's picket lines. Poor, the divided will lose. Only the bullies will win. Those who suffered racism in the past can't dole it out for others now. When will the lesson be learned? A house divided cannot stand. We're here, ready to travel. We came to help the cab man. Hurry, hurry. We have passed the river Styx. You come too late, too late, too late. But we believe in miracles. March on, we'll see what we can see. At the People's Church in El Barrio, what memories. I was born here a long time ago. My people made these streets. We paused for a snack and a moment's rest. Outside the church, a restless crowd gathers. Chorus faces Athena, drums under. Two more actors join with masks. Nobody cares about garbage. It took years to get rid of it. Now that they're clean our streets, why? Should we care about this old guy? He was dead on his luck. It's true. Everyone is, but the lucky few. Hey, heard his story on TV. Let me tell you, if it was me, I'd get my gun and point it at that creep. Red a tat tat. Take that. An eye for an eye. And we'd all live in a pigsty. You've got to get even or else. You're a sitting duck on a shelf. An eye for an eye. Mankind's been here for two million years. If we destroy each other, it adds up to zilch. A crowd gathers. Are we getting bigger yet? Two actors in masks wearing black mind poem. Scene of can man attacked from behind, falling. 
Athena and Chorus reach 125th Street. The cast faces the audience. Remember that can man from before? He seemed at the edge of his world, as tattered dreams around him swirled. Was he just a ghost at death's door? He came as an omen. He is what our journey is about. No matter what, no matter how, we know we reap just as we sow. He's in the hospital. Let us pray that death won't hold him in its sway. Why is our life down here so short? As if the fates conspire to thwart. We hear his blood leaking so fast. It seems as if his life has passed. From the garbage of streets you try to make a living. But there's a lot of cash and trash, and cash is king in the big city. Again, you can, man. Bags balanced on a bamboo pole. Covid swept you out the door, discarded like outworn shoes. I too have been scorned and overlooked. I too have been invisible and meek. I too have turned the other cheek until I just ran out of cheeks, man. You need a hole that you can crawl into. When winter freezes over, for this you're crouching all day long, grasping wet deposit bottles. Twenty bottles make a dollar. Two dollars and you eat tomorrow. That day you tried to be unseen. Wrong place, wrong time, it all went wrong. Lunging from behind, he kicked you. Venting rage from a life denied. He opened new holes in your head. From which blood flowed onto the hospital bed. The doctors tried to staunch your wounds. Dead. You were apathetic. You look alike anyway, some say. It's about time you got yours. But if blood splatters their clean shoes, why did they let you in the country? The thought occurs. Or do you? Ever. You, cara fuerte, face of stone. No one will ever be as alone. Yao Pei Ma, remember his name. Your blood is the same. When you sit back and have your fill, you think you will not pay a bill. But eating human pie will make you ill. Crossfade to main room of senior center. A table is filled with desserts. The mad scientist became the most powerful man in the world. And what is more, a billionaire from the profits of his potion. And I wish I could say, everyone lived happily ever after. Cast appears, facing the audience. We rhymed our little show, so it wouldn't be a Debbie Downer, but... Thank you, seniors. I loved being with you, even delivering the meals. I say goodbye tonight, leaving part of my heart with you. Grandma gives Kathy a present. Ted stands by table, pouring drinks. Leo stands by Kathy. I'm proud of you. That means the world to me. Scene three, Times Square. Upstage, the video of Mr. Chang's pictures of anti-Asian hate crimes revolves. The cast faces the audience. And now, some entertainment. Part three, Michelle. Michelle, little sister like no other. We were best friends forever. And now I face the rest of life without you. But how, when will mankind learn to care for each other? I see you smiling down from above because you know the meaning of love. Look up, look up, high above Times Square is our city ours when we fear to tread. When will we learn to care for each other?
Singer exits. Kathy, Leo, Corky, and Ted gather impromptu. Hi, I'm Corky Lee. Our grandparents, daughters, wives, innocent people we loved have been attacked, even killed. Tonight, our community is standing up to say, no more! No, no more. more! Enough! 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 Kathy, say something. Excuse me. Excuse me. Before you leave, they say that Asian women are weak. They submit. I just wanted to get a word in for the small people. I'm a small person. That could have been me on the tracks. I exist. Walk in my shoes for one day. Are we just a vote? One million six hundred thousand ain't chump change. We have to stand up. Whatever the politicians say or do, we're having our say. Upstage on screen, insert images of Asian hate crime victims above Times Square. Asian Americans' hate crimes are news in the pandemic. News has been my business for 40 years. Photos are proof. If you see an anti-Asian hate crime, take a photo or video. They're proof, identification, evidence. That's right. What do you say? Enough is enough. No more. 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 Chanting, crowd disperses through audience. Crossfade to Leo's apartment. Leo and Kathy watch TV. Phone rings. And last night, another brutal killing in Chinatown. Kathy's phone rings. We're meeting, then marching to city halls. I quit my job to get away from you. You could be next. Those two boys that set fire to grandma's hair were Jewish. We've even been attacked by black people. People with centuries of persecution. We have to stick together, or this will not work out for us. So late! You've got to get him to stop calling me. He's calling everyone he knows. About this. But why me? Why me? We're a disposable minority like the Jews were in Germany. Don't tell me Nazism is coming. Nobody knows what's coming. That's the only sure thing. Our demos were in the ghettos. We never crossed the street to City Hall. They're piling on. Now is our chance to direct traffic. At least Ted wants to do something. This is why I went into lifelong debt for my MA and PhD. When you get more learning, you have to spread it around. At least we have each other. That's right. A lot of people are alone. My illusions of being a princess with more education are down the drain. If I have to man the bullhorn at Times Square, I'll do it. Atta girl. I will stand up, I'll take a shower, then I'll put on my boots, take the subway, meet Ted, and open up a banner. I'm not hiding at home like Grandma. I can't act like my mother who takes a cab from Queens to Manhattan instead of the subway. What good is living in a democracy if you can't even pretend to act as if you're equal? Even those strangers who may be insane want to kill you because they believe in racial slurs. Even though nobody expects you to have any guts. Even though everyone out there is programmed and expects you to roll over and play dead. The fact is, I'm not dead. And if I power and hide, I might as well be dead. And I'm not ready for that. So move over, America. Even though you don't expect me, and I wasn't invited to the party, I'm coming. And I'm getting a seat at the table. Hello, Ted? Bring ID. I'll be there. Kathy and Leo put on boots, pick up a banner, and exit. Times Square lights fade, end of play.